My enemies are many. My equals are none. Welcome back to part two of my France Let's Play for Napoleon Total War with Darth Mod. We continue where we left things off last time with our strike on Innsbruck, taking uh, Tyrol, and we'll be diving on in and fighting that in a moment. But I want to say a massive thank you, first of all, to everyone for checking out part one of this series on Wednesday. We'll be releasing this campaign every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday going forward. And at last, we are here with the grand European campaign for our Rise of Napoleon series. Uh, thanks everyone for the unit name suggestions please do continue to post them exclusively over on part one of this series that way they're all in one easy place for me to find every time we get an army to a full 20 stack we'll add in uh, some unit names uh, and i've gone through napoleon's army and added some in uh, for today so we now have the 22nd crepe crusaders the crimson lancers no time to lose that's probably my favorite suggestion so far uh, the supply chain the iron baguettes Bonies Bruisers, the Carnister Shots, the Dragon of Paris, the first Napoleon's Chosen Men. I know some of you guys, for the Old Guard, maybe just keep them as Old Guard, don't change their names. Um, but I think I, I might just have all the Old Guard as like the first, second, third, and fourth Napoleon's Chosen Men. Uh, a slight little reference to Sharp there. Um, but yeah, these, was, these are definitely Napoleon's Chosen. And Napoleon's Bannermen, Napoleon's Wall, the, the Normandy Volunteers. Uh, Liberté, uh, Egalité, and Fraternité, the ideals of the French Republic and the French Revolution. Haven't got the accents over the letters there. We'll get that corrected in a couple of episodes' time. The Phoenix Guards, the Sharp Shots, uh, Reims Rangers, and the Bordelot Battalion. The Bordelot? The, the uh, Bordeaux Battalion. Thinking of uh, Bordelot in Warhammer Fantasy now. Anyway, so that's Napoleon's army. We've obviously advanced towards Vienna, as that is our main objective right now, to crush Austria. Then I'm planning, if possible, to try and deal with Britain early on, um, before potentially Spain maybe kicks off. Uh, they are currently allied to us, but I know that no alliance is particularly stable in this, especially with Darth Mod. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking we'll secure the West and our kind of core central position around France uh, directly first once we've knocked out Austria then we can look to do one big sweeping movement all the way east and conquer all the map that is the plan we're going to kick things off with our battle here at Tyrol sending in uh, Michel Ney and his force uh, so in we go let's do it also I want to say uh, welcome back to Jay Rimbeck's um, stories and tales of uh, Gisele Forat uh, in the comment section if you've missed the uh if you've missed any of that and you're thinking like w w what do you mean he's essentially writing um stories and tales letters from a soldier of uh napoleon's army so uh, do go check that out i love that you guys add in these battle reports these extra ways that just bring the content to life um so very much looking forward to more tales um from napoleon's force so there be the austrians they have Formed up around the wall for defense, but not quite. You should probably be the other way with these guys. Damn, I'm going to blast you. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. All right, and there's a nice little hill here. And that is kind of right where, if they were to march up here, just canistering on down, it's quite good. Although I'm going to actually have to start with you guys not deploy because I just want to move you forward just a smidge. So I don't know if we if we'd rename these guys, or maybe we we would give them some nicknames essentially, but still keep the regiment de Catalan in there. Pop you guys to the left. Then we've got the regiment Hibernia, which we'll have on the right, and the French Reunion Battalion, which are a very large skirmisher capable battalion so we'll have them moving to the flanks and we've got some cavalry which will also move to the flank that can wheel out around that way nay round by the cannon take the initiative in battle by making maneuvers the enemy must respond to 
Even if you don't follow it through, they'll be so busy countering your moves, they'll have no time to make any of their own. I mean, sound advice, yep. Yeah. It's a really nice ridge we've got here, and they're going to have to come to us because we've got the artillery. That wall there is perfect as well. Nice bit of defense. Formed up along it with the rest of the troops. There's the side. Have the cavalry supporting there. Unlimited the artillery. It's ready to fire. Beautiful. Bill has a solid stash there. 8 out of 10. Artillery. Prepare to fire. Beautiful. Yeah, so they've already redeployed out of their initial deployment along the walls. They're going to form up in line and then look to advance towards us. So we'll go for a fast forward here. The Archduke Charles Legion Garrison. Aye. You're going to try and press up on this flank here. I was trying to do the same with these guys, so I'm just going to have to roll you back a little bit. You're in skirmish mode, so I could screen you with a troop behind it, but it's it. I think it's just a little bit unreliable. Also, that is a terrible area to pop you guys on. I'm going to move here where there's some better ground. Or we'll actually just pull you back. It does potentially cause a bit of trouble for you guys. So I'm just going to roll you guys back along the ridge a little bit. It's fine. You guys got an extended range. No, it's uh, 110. Love that these guys are deployed on that wall. That wall there is just wonderful placement. What is their stats? Oh, pretty good accuracy and reload, yeah. These guys are going to fire at will loosely, whereas these guys are firing mass volleys. Switch to canister, please. I think what we might need, actually, is to have the lancers over here try and charge and break that group. Because they're inflicting some pretty significant casualties on these guys. Ideally, they need to get a bit closer. Probably the ones at the back are not able to fire as well. I'll take them out of loose spacing. Don't. I think because they're skirmishers, they still won't fire by rank. But more of them should be able to fire. I don't know if they'll all fire or what. We'll find out though. And form up. They should be more accurate than these guys. They just fire as and when they can. Is it just the front rank? No, there's ones in the second rank taking a shot as well. General is under attack. He's all good. Don't worry about it. Send the lancers in. Crap, Napoleon. If you give a charge order through, they kill your own troops, don't they? How have I not encountered that so far in the campaign? How have I managed to be that good at not doing that so far in this campaign? 
You can move cavalry through them, but if you give a charge order and they end up going through, they just kill them. Ah, nuts. Well, yeah, remember that now. Enemy general is gone. Okay, what I'm going to do is get you guys formed up here. Oopsie. I'm surprised I've not done that before. Get you guys round. I need to disengage with that cavalry, but I need these guys in position first. They're nearly there. Can do it now. Pull back. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, point blank should be some pretty ferocious damage. I'm surprised they're holding so long. It's got to remember, though, that this at this stage of the campaign, you're facing Austria and the, the main powers. They're not like the Mamelukes and the, the Bedouin forces that have very low morale and will break. Much easier. We've got to use a combination of infantry and cavalry to shatter morale. These guys are actually struggling. Do these... The, does the Archduke Charles Legion... Are they just that good? That steady? So yeah, they're, they're hitting these guys hard. Got them flanked. Okay, they've just finally gone in the center there. Really break these fusiliers up now. Continue advancing. Well done, Cav. We just need to break them here. It's the settlement we're attacking, so we don't need to chase them all down. Just got to break that unit over there. German fusiliers. Switch to round shot. Blast them. You guys have taken massive damage there. What are your stats? 32. Not particularly accurate. Fairly slow on the reload. Definitely need some more cavalry support. I think that'd be enough to punch through them, but it's not. So pull back. I think you guys need to uh, come off the wall, pull back, redeploy, and go again. You redeploy you guys ready to face them there. Bring the cavalry up and round. Giving us a pretty tough fight. I know we're dealing with, you know, fairly evenly matched in terms of troop numbers. Fair play, fair play. It's a, I mean, it's a good sign for... Our battles in this campaign being pretty tough. And the Austrians aren't going to be simple walkover for us. Move you guys to flank them. Charge them in. Get you guys on the wall. Move you guys up there. Come on, men. You can have them. Pull them back. And the other thing I'm thinking is, what's their attack? Can I charge them? Oh, 
We're also going to need this unit across here as well, aren't we? They are just, they are just shredding them. Oh, they've charged us at the wall. They're gone, though. What the heck? Our men are running, sir. Yeah. Much tougher fight than expected. Goes the Lancers again. They've rallied back. And they've gone, though. Good. In point blank like this, we should be getting some pretty decent damage. Really taking them down to half strength compared to that one. It's at 300. They've been 60. they finally broken. Good. They're now not looking so hot. Yeah, this will be a much tougher challenge. Reform. Then up the cannons. I think they're just going for a charge. Okay. Show them the fury of France. Lancers, you're doing some absolutely top work, although that may be a charge too far for you. I'm going to leave you engaged with them. Yep, got them. Nice. God, they're really struggling. Down to 70 men. Get them, Nate. Everybody's in on this one. Break that unit. There we go. And they put up a tough fight. Oh, they're still back again. Well, they come back more than Skaven. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. I mean, it is a victory, and I mean, victory is glorious, but I don't know if this one's been damn bloody. Nay, bravest of the brave. Yeah, we've got a name. Actually, yeah, one, one or two suggested it. I don't know if I can actually rename his unit. I don't think I can because he's a name character. But it's just in calling him bravest of the brave. If not, we'll have like some elite guard in there that we'll call the bravest of the brave. As was his, uh, his nickname and title. When did, he, when did he gain that title? Was it Austerlitz that he gained it? Or was it... Uh, was it previous to that? There we go. They finally broken. Beautiful. Well, we did it, but oh, that was it was a heroic victory. Okay. I mean, the balance power was probably only just in my favour. We lost one thousand three hundred eighty-four. I was hoping these guys would provide fresh reinforcement to enable Napoleon to keep pushing directly towards Vienna, but we're going to have to wait for additional troops. I think at this point. Yeah. yeah. 479 kills with the Lancers. GG. Right. Let's repair that straight away. They're going to get medium replenishment, which is good. Is that because... No, not because we've got replenishment here. Recruitment cost. Uh, yeah, ideally we want to go for the manufactory for more wealth. Um, I don't know if you want to go for that just yet. Iron mine, recruitment cost, or units. Yeah, Napoleon probably pull him back to Bavaria to replenish a little bit, see if the Austrians make a push towards. We've got our spy in the area who can keep an eye on them. We broke the Russians. We can march on Venice with this army under Messena next time. Next turn. 
We just need to continue bringing more troops over. So what have we got? We've got the horse artillery, horse artillery, and we've got the Portuguese Legion, which are pretty down elite, 50 accuracy, and some more uh, French Mariners as well. So bring these guys as reinforcements, but we're going to want more infantry as well. So we'll get some infantry from Strasbourg. Upgrade the barracks there to continue giving us decent troops. More. Yeah, I mean, we, we do want that, but at the same time, probably just want to pour as many troops as possible. Okay, we've got all those guys coming in. Um, mm, 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 mm. Lancers. Okay, give you another unit of lancers. Yeah, because it's Murat, who is the excellent cavalryman of the, the French forces. So I want to keep on... Getting more cavalry into his force. Try and specialize kind of our armies a little bit. Just make them a bit more interesting. More cavalry to send over to join up with these guys. Yep. Let's get another one of those hussars in there actually as well. I think that's all we can do. Let's just check our navy. Yeah, it's fine. We've got the trade fleet there, although we're not earning anything because of that. Uh, I did see suggestions say in the comments last episode saying just make loads of trade ports. I mean... If we get rid of that trade port at Antwerp, because it's constantly going to be bombarded, right? If we got rid of that trade port and instead we've got the trade port, would that mean everything comes through there if we didn't have one up here? It's, it's to get to your capital, right? It's a trade port that then links to the capital. Or we made one of these, then they'd probably just strike that as well. That, that is becoming a trading port. Also, if you have multiple trading ports, do they have to block each and every one of them? Or does one become the primary? I forget exactly how that system works to be honest be keen to see what's going on there uh basic roads that would be good to have in there do do do, do. right let's end the turn see what happens primary there's a primary table so if you remove your primary table you should be able to it should default to another one right oh we've ambushed them incredible Kalmak on Liebrich. 12 pounder. They've got some lancers. German grenadiers. Hungarian fusiliers. Jaeger. Swiss line infantry. Swiss grenadiers. Be rude not to uh, spring a trap on them, right? In we go. beautiful okay not ideal starting train at least not for our cannons from there but let's see is there a better position probably here it's grand battery time have it all here firing down the line as the rest of my troops sweep on in this way We'll probably need to defend it, though, from potential cavalry charges, I guess. Um, so I'm going to have the Lancers stationed behind in case they rush forward with their troops. Um, we'll also have Napoleon here. Inspiring the troops. I'm going to keep these cavalry further along because I want them to swoop in and knock out the enemy artillery, if possible, and the enemy general. And then... Let's form up our forces. So we'll have you guys, including the old guard, ready to swiftly advance. I'm going to have them spread further out because we need to... They're going to keep marching down, I would have thought. We have to advance quite quickly to them. So we don't have line of sight on them, unfortunately. This isn't the, the best ambush for us, really. Um, I still don't understand why these guys can't do stakes. What I need to do to get stakes. I 
have you guys here and then swing you in. Advance. Shredding them with cannon. Charge them. Break that cavalry. Oof. Okay. The Lancers did incredible damage there. And they are spewing out cannon shots straight away. I thought I could survive that that charge with the cavalry and break him there. And we've got him now that we blunted that charge. We absorbed the hit. But of course, at great cost. There we go. Look at these guys all shattering in the center. Old guard firing. Shattering the Austrian forces. sent some infantry in to break apart the cannons because the cavalry has been uh, delayed. They've broken the lances eventually, but at great cost. Okay, infantry formed up firing. Perfect. Skirmish is getting in there as well. That's what we like to see. The old guard. Beautiful. Charge the lancers with bayonet. Oh, the chasseurs really struggled. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. And so I think it's just the fact that we're facing far more capable forces in the other kind of central European powers here compared to our previous campaigns. Either that or there's a rebalancing of troops for this campaign, and our troops aren't quite as powerful as they were before. Battles are definitely bloodier already. Form square. All right, artillery. Limber up. We don't want any friendly fire. Risky shots. Oh, here we go. Are they form square already? We'll need the old guard to bring that square down. General, nice. Now they must break. Off we go. Get the old guard supported by the grenadiers. Three, two, one. There's the charge. Beautiful. What a crush. How are we doing over here? Charge him, charge him, charge him. Get those Swiss grenadiers. broken. Pull the cavalry back. Come on, old guard. Napoleon's chosen men. There we go. Broken them. March on the Swiss Grenadiers. How are we doing over here? Yeah, Cavalry's seen them all off. Utter carnage here, though. 
Well done, all. Move the grenadiers to an even more deadlier position, and I'm going to go point blank with the old guard. Grenadiers taking fire, giving the old guard cover to move up. Here we go. go. Oh, they've broken already. I'll let the old guard take a shot. Oh, shredded. Job done. Well done, old guard. Their fury unleashed. 404 lost. Not bad. Most kills with the lancers. The old guard getting 179. Grenadiers getting 190. Nice, nice. And that breaks. Impossible, monsieur. That Austrian force that marches. It's not their full force. They still got they should still have a full sack army in Vienna, which is where we're going. That certainly worked out quite nicely for us to uh, break any kind of probing force they may have had. Now separated them from their Russian support. I don't know how many more Russian armies are headed this way to support Austria, but. Hopefully we can knock them out at Vienna before more aid arrives to them. The Ottomans have waged war with Austria as well, I believe. So that'll put them under pressure. Beautiful. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Lovely. Development in these areas. We'll check that out. The mines there, yep. And we got the national debt done. Good. March on Moscow. Oh, here we go. Capture Moscow. Yeah, well, that mission will probably be the final mission that we complete along with the, the victory conditions of the campaign. I mean, we want to do. I'm thinking we want to probably try and do full map conquest if we can. Um, so we'll leave Moscow till the last um, and to complete that mission uh, last as well. Um, but yeah, we can hit the victory regions comfortably. It'll just be the listed ones. Keep Moscow till the end to complete that mission. I'm kind of surprised you get the march on Moscow so early. I'm also assuming um, take Russia by storm. Will that? No, that won't break them completely. But this one is Austria will be compelled to make peace. That one just gives you gold. So yeah, this one knocks. Doesn't like wipe out Austria. Obviously, you take Vienna from them, but it should force them to make peace, which will be nice. Give us a bit of time. Yes, they've still got a full force there. They are upgrading like crazy right now. Which is good. Uh, we can advance there. But I, I kind of feel, considering the losses and the strength of the Austrian forces, probably need to make sure we've got a little bit of reinforcement for Napoleon. So I'm going to pull him back towards Munich. I'm trying to go to that forest to see, yeah, if we could replenish. Uh, and also set up an ambush. Um, hmm, slow replenishment. I was kind of hoping it would be slightly faster than that. It's a shame. Oh, they've marched out of Venice. they pulled back. We can go straight. Oh, no. They're still there. Just slightly out of fog of war. Really? The garrisons throwing up that much of a defense for them? Oh, damn. Okay. Let's get that mine going yet. Definitely have to fight that. Venice. You got artillery. You've got two. A six pounder and an eight pounder. Right, we've got additional troops coming in here. These can act as solid replenishment for Napoleon. That they can be picked up by uh, Davo. Um, we'll have more infantry coming for you. Also got the artillery. Horse artillery. Yeah, we're going to keep those all for Mira. And then send 
these guys to link up with Davo. In fact, what I'm going to do is go for some Hussars. To all link on up. Um, we'll leave Mira here for now. One or two of you said wary of uh, the UK landing force in your own campaigns. You've seen the UK do some naval invasions. So we probably need to make sure we've got a reasonable force at Paris um, to support. All right. Um, oh, we had another French Mariners. Yeah, off you go over there. Keep all them together. So yeah, more more cavalry would be nice. Um, we're gonna need infantry for you. On the attack, um, yeah, we can get a load of them. Why not? Let's just go for mass. Well, they cost a lot though, don't they? Okay, in which case, I mean, you probably would have French foot dragoons, Mira. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get them, but yeah, you go for, you go for some of them. If anyone's going to have them, that would probably make the most sense for you to have them. And... Yeah, get me some more Lancers. Dashing cavalrymen of the French army. All right, that's like what we can do there again. Oh, we've got the merchantmen need to keep building more of them. 1,890, going up to 2,300, I reckon. 2,300, boom, bang on. We've now got our trade back open again because the Brits aren't harassing us. We're harassing them with the sloop. Uh, I want to be suggesting I use the sloop to go and harass their ports. So let's go see if we can do that. Oh, no, they got it. Bring it there. Okay, go hit Liverpool. Oh. What have they got in there? Can't tell. Could be a big, powerful ship. No, it's still not revealed. It's going to be a later investment for us. Right. Davo. Um, yeah, keep marching. To link up with Napoleon. Get your forces together. Lovely stuff. Um, we probably want to push in on that. And take Venice. Just see. Move you through here. Give you a better idea of what's going on. Oh, yeah, we need to choose more research, don't we? Um, oh, we've got over. Yeah, we've got that college in there. So. We need Barrett. Oh no, we need National Census, don't we? That's nine turns. Or Orléans, five turns. So, Nash, a classical economics. What's going by all buildings increases? Code of Napoleon. Public schooling is plus 10% to research rate. Spawns gentlemen, maximum plus one. Is it nine for everything? Seeing if there was something quick that we could go for. Um, it's 12 turns, but let's, let's go for it. I wonder if that all my gentlemen yet, if I take one out, how much that slow the research down by two turns, but I think we should probably spread them out. So let's do that. Um, right, we will dive on into the Battle for Venice, but we'll open with that battle at the start of the next episode. Until the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.